Alta Woods was at one time, just like South Jackson, was a thriving part of the greater Jackson community. And just like every other church in our conference, there is demographic shift that takes place. The demographic shift began taking place here probably a long time ago. But the community change um, really caused some people that were part of the congregation here to realize that they needed to do something that would get them outside the walls of the church. The mission is in the DNA of Alta Woods. They are not a church that um, is willing to sit on their hands. They don't just, just go to church on Sunday mornings and then go home and forget. They really want to be engaged. So on um, Thursdays, we are a beehive of activity where we have a food pantry, a thrift shop that is downstairs. Uh, this open from 10 to 3 every Thursday. The food pantry is open from 10 to 1 and then from 1 to 3 o'clock as well. I think my uh, lady that directs the uh, food pantry came in this morning and told me that as they keep the current pace of the food pantry, they will have given away over 2,000 pounds of food by the end of this month. So we're feeding a significant number of families with a significant amount of food. Um, one of our goals is to do more for people, do it for more people, and do it with more. So it's all about doing more. So at 10 o'clock when the doors open, there's usually six or eight people out there waiting to go. We're getting stuff from the entire community. People just drop stuff off. It's just amazing how it continues to still, and that can only be God. And so we looked at Readiness 360 as an opportunity to bump it up a notch, to have our food pantry open more, um, you know, and to have people come back for food more often, and to um, add Sunday school to what we were doing at Gravy and Grace. Now we have Sunday school for them when they didn't have Bible study or Sunday school before. About just finding ways to, to look at what we're doing and, and ask ourselves why. But I was so encouraged by the, the work itself, the books, the text that I bought. And I bought all of the books. Um, I've been to all of the meetings. And the process itself we gave me a sort of a, a jump start in my own heart about ministry. So that was just one of those wonderful things about, um, uh, about the process. It's, it's given me not only resources, but it's given me a lot of hope of sustainability as far as ministry goes for the future of this church. And I think that one of the things that's made very clear to us in the Readiness 360 um, process and in the meetings is that there's a big difference between me a member of a church and being a disciple. Um, but a lot of people go to church on Sunday mornings but do not live a life of discipleship during the week. Um, having your name on a roll and being a member is not following Christ. So this is about changing, um, you know, multiplying your impact in congregation, multiplying your impact in community. What are you going to do um, in order to continue to live into the kingdom of God.